A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet, my calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. The king said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. In 1829, George Wilson, a postal clerk, was part of a plot to rob a federal payroll train. During the robbery, Wilson killed a guard. Wilson was convicted and sentenced to hang. Public sentiment against capital punishment led to a movement to spare Wilson. Three weeks before Wilson was to hang, President Andrew Jackson intervened and issued a pardon. But for reasons unknown, Wilson refused to accept the pardon. Wilson's refusal caused a legal challenge, eventually reaching the United States Supreme Court. Could an individual refuse a presidential pardon? Chief Justice John Marshall handed down the High Court's decision. A pardon is a deed to the validity of which delivery is essential and delivery is not complete without acceptance. It may then be rejected by the person to whom it is tendered. And if it is rejected, we have discovered no power in this court to force it upon him. The court ruled that a pardon's value can be determined only by the receiver of the pardon. For whatever reason, George Wilson refused the pardon. Pardon must not only be granted, but accepted. Wilson's sentence was carried out. Faith, my friends, is the belief that God loves us despite ourselves, that we always have a place at God's table. But faith means little until that invitation is accepted. Baptism is just a ritual unless it is actively and intentionally lived. We find so many reasons to refuse God's welcome. We don't consider ourselves religious enough. There are too many demands on our time to even consider anything mystical and mysterious as the things of God. We just don't see God as playing any practical part in the complexities of our lives. Christ in the parable of the king's banquet, calls us to realize that we have a place at God's table, a table that extends in the love and forgiveness of family and friends in this time and place to the eternal joy of the next. My sisters and brothers, God has invited each of us to his son's wedding feast, the fullness of God's life in the resurrection. The only obstacle is our inability to hear God's invitation amid the noisy activity that consumes our time and attention. 
So come, come to the table of plenty. Come to the feast to taste and see. Come in the day of the Lord listening. And as you journey, may the Lord give you peace. Peace.